right here. Where it gets energy. And where it gets its carbon. And we're going to group our organism. So if it gets its energy from light, or if it gets its energy from like some um, something it eats. And then if it gets its carbon from carbon dioxide, or if it gets its carbon from some organic material. So if you use light for your energy and carbon dioxide is carbon, you're a photo autotroph, okay? Photo tells you you are getting your energy from light. Autotroph means you're using carbon dioxide. So can you think of anything that would use carbon dioxide to build stuff, use energy from light? A plant. So plants are all photo autotrophs. Um, photo heterotrophs are going to use light for their energy, but they can't just take carbon dioxide and turn it into a sugar. They're going to have to have some organic material. They're going to use an alcohol or a fatty acid or a carbohydrate or something for their carbon source. So those are photoheterotrophs. And there are bacteria that act like that. Um, there are chemoautotrophs. So chemoautotrophs are going to have to have some carbon. Um, no, they're having their carbon from carbon dioxide. But they have to have some inorganic compounds. So food is kind of the wrong word. We're just going to say some compound. Maybe not, I call it a food source, just a compound. Um, so, you know, maybe something that's deep in the ocean, it doesn't have access to light, so it's gonna have to use some compound that's there for energy, but it can still get carbon dioxide, okay? So that's a chemoautotroph. Chemoheterotrophs are gonna use some compounds to give energy and some organic compound to get carbon, okay? You can't just do photosynthesis and it can't just breathe in carbon dioxide. So photoautotrophs, photoheterotrophs. Chemoautotrophs, chemoheterotrophs, okay? So photo or chemo, auto or hetero. So what about people? Which group do we fall into? <laughs> we are chemoheterotrophs. So we can't stand out in the sun and just be like, oh, I was so hungry, now I'm full, I had my light for the day, right? You have to eat something. You've got to have some sort of compound to get energy. Uh, you can't just breathe in a bunch of carbon dioxide and be like, I fill myself up with sugar now. I've gotten all my carbon dioxide. You have to eat something to get carbon, okay? So we are chemoheterotrophs. Um, there are bacteria that fit into everything. So photo photoautotrophs, <laughs> bacteria, photoheterotrophs, they're bacteria, chemoautotrophs or bacteria, chemoheterotrophs, there's bacteria, okay? So that's not a chart to memorize. This is the important part to memorize. What chemo, hetero, photo, auto mean, okay? You don't have to memorize this. Okay, so breaking down things is not the only thing we do. We also do anabolism. Um, and anabolism and biosynthesis, uh, we can use those words interchangeably, okay? They might technically have differences. We're going to use them the same thing. Anabolism or biosynthesis means you're building a compound that you need. Um, so all that ATP you got from burning down your sugar, you're going to turn around and use that ATP to make something. Um, so to build, build new DNA, to build a new protein, you're going to need energy. So that's biosynthesis or anabolism. Um, so you have to build, a bacteria has to build polysaccharides. Um, so like some polysaccharides, you're going to build a glycogen, which is going to be used for energy storage. Um, peptidic glycans to build a new cell wall. Um, you're going to need lipids, you're going to need phospholipids to have a plasma membrane. Um, bacteria make toxins. Not trying to be jerks and like poison you, that's just what they do. They make toxins. Um, you're going to make enzymes, you're going to have to be able to. Um, you're going to make DNA and RNA, purines and pyrimidines. Um, we're not actually going to talk about this. You have to stick, so just like you deaminated amino acids, put them into to make energy out of them, you're going to aminate them to make an amino acid. <laughs> um, and there's also amphibolic pathways. So when you look at the Krebs cycle, so it can run around and get lots of energy out of it. So it's metabolism. It can also run around this way and make fatty acids and make amino acids. So that Krebs cycle can break stuff down. That could be catabolic. It can also build stuff up. It can be anabolic. So that's an 
anabolic pathway. It can be used to break stuff down and get energy. It can also use energy to build stuff up. So amphi, that word amphi, that means both, just like amphibians, or when we talked about um, amphitric is flagella, so amphibolic means it goes two ways. Okay? So that's the end of chapter five. Um, and if you survive that, you're going to be fine in six and seven. Six and seven are just a bunch of...